Resuming debate, the Honourable Member for Brampton South. Mr. Speaker, I am pleased to rise today in support of M126. I rise in support of the groups of talented and dedicated Portuguese Canadians in my riding of Brampton South. I rise in support of the talented and dedicated Portuguese Canadian across the country. It is important to recognize those who worked hard to help build this country and whose hard work continues to shape and define our communities from coast to coast. In Brampton South, we have a very special group, Amigos Portuguese do Pale, who dedicate their time, energy, and talent to supporting community projects throughout Peel. Under passionate and compassionate community leadership, the Amigos Portuguese have made their work on Peel region and in Brampton South. They have been working hard over the past four years, organizing fundraise events, dances, golf tournament, boche tournament, and more to support redevelopment of Peel Memorial. Mr. Speaker, in my first speech in this place, I spoke of the Amigos Portuguese and their fundraising efforts where once again they exceeded their goals. It is clear to me and to anyone who works with this group that they are dedicated and hardworking and are eager to make a difference in our communities. We should all be so fortunate to have groups like Amigos Portuguese in our writings and so for many other groups in cross country. Their hard work is literally shaping our community. Across Canada and around the world, in businesses, in sports, in media, in community building, and the Portuguese community is thriving. In Canada, we know that diversity is our strength, and we can do more when we came together as one family. The Portuguese Canadian members of this family have shared their diversity, their culture, and their custard tarts with us. And we are forever grateful. As we know, Mr. Speaker, the GTA saw a major moment of Portuguese immigration in 1955. Most of the Portuguese people coming to Canada to help fill labor needs. That time, keeping up with the post-World War II development boom, Portuguese families settled into their new home and helped rebuild cities. From those early days to right now, we have a lot to thank our Portuguese Canadians for. I support this motion because, Mr. Speaker, I feel that this is the vitality important to recognize and celebrate the various communities who have come together to make the Canadian mosaic. During the summer, I had the chance to visit Ponta Delgada on São Miguel Island on the Azores. I toured the beautiful landscapes and learned about the community. I was happy to see this beautiful place where many residents of Brampton South trace their heritage. In my writing, I'm proud that we are home to the Church of Our Lady of Fatima, which hosts the annual Santo Cristo procession and the Holy Ghost festivities. Both of these celebrations are among the largest in Ontario and bring Portuguese Canadian from across the province and beyond to join in. In June, I joined my colleagues in Brampton, along the members of the city government to raise the Portuguese flag at Brampton City Hall. It was an honor to join my colleagues and honor this important community in Brampton. Later that day, everyone was invited to Garden Square in downtown Brampton and right beside my office for a Portuguese festival which celebrated the unique heritage of this community. There was live music, food festival, traditional dancing, and many crafts. It was a wonderful day, Mr. Speaker, and I look forward to continue this celebration in years to come. On that day, in fact, for the first time, June was proclaimed as Portuguese Heritage Month in the city of Brampton. I hope that we can share this celebration across Canada with, this, uh, with the adoption of the motion. By marking Portuguese Heritage Month as this motion would do, we are extrenching 
in Canadian culture the importance of recognizing the history and tradition of so many of our neighbors and friends. I'm proud to have a great community partners in Regional Council Martin Medeiros who joined me in engaging the Portuguese community. Council Medeiros is a tireless and I'm grateful for the work he does to recognize Portuguese Canadians at the regional level in Brampton and Peel. We have had important celebration here in Ottawa too. Last spring, Mr. Speaker, the Canada and Portugal Friendship Group hosted a parliamentary celebration of Portugal Day. We had visitors from Brampton South, a whole bus, as well as many other communities in the GTA with large Portuguese Canadian populations. The festivities that day were celebrated with joy. We had music, food, and friends, the best kind of celebration. And this is how we should always celebrate our diversity. We share our histories, we share our culture, we share our values. One of the traditional dance of Portugal is a fandango, a competition to see who has the lightest on their feet while engaging each other in fun and exciting dance. I encourage all members here to join their Portuguese community and learn the Fandango. As a member of the Canada-Portugal Friendship Group, I want to make a moment and thank my colleague, the chair of the group, for the chairs of the group for the work they do in organizing special events to celebrate Portuguese heritage. They have worked tirelessly as the leaders of our group, and I would be remiss not to thank them for their work. To pra paraphrase as often repeated line, together better is always possible. We are always better together. Mr. Speaker, I want to commend my colleague, the member of Devonport, for bringing this motion forward and recognizing the wonderful contribution Portuguese Canadians have made and will they surely continue to make to Canada better. It speaks great volumes of her dedication to representing her community. She is hard worker and to community celebrating the diversity to all Canadians to bring forward such a motion of this place. I encourage my colleague to join me, all colleagues to join me in supporting this motion and in supporting the celebration of Portuguese heritage this year and every year going forward. Obrigado, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Thank you.